Romans 14 verse 1. Accept other believers who are weak in faith. And don't argue with them about what they think is right or wrong. Yes, that's in the Bible. Yes. Yes. We are called to be more accepting and supportive of each other. To live in unity and harmony as believers. Although we will have different stances on certain things and different opinions regarding certain issues. In this case, the Jewish believers were struggling with abandoning the old requirements of the law. And the Gentile believers were struggling because they were overly sensitive to deal with anything that was associated with paganism. Well, some persons were very sensitive and some persons were not. Some persons having grown in faith understood that it's okay. It's really no big deal. It doesn't matter if the meat was offered to an idol. An idol is nothing. So I can bless it and eat it. Whilst there are others who were so careful to avoid paganism that they ate only vegetables. The scripture here tells us that there were some who believed that there was one day which was holier than another day. Differences of opinion. But it says in verses 4 and 5, who are you to condemn someone else's servants? Their own master will judge whether they stand or fall. And with the Lord's help, they will stand and receive his approval. In the same way, some think one day is more holy than another day while others think every day is alike. You should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose is acceptable. It is very important that we understand. We are not placed in the seat of judgment for God's people. They are God's people. And there are some things that the scripture is not definitive on. The issues that are important, the scriptures are patently clear on those. But most of the things that we have to do in our daily life, the scripture is not prescriptive on such issues. And so we will have disagreements, we will have differences of opinions. But hey, why do we need to fight and war and build walls between each other? Who are you to condemn another man's servant? Who are you to determine that the other person is not saved because they have a different view on some issues than you. Do you recognize that you're operating according to your opinions and your understanding? The Bible says very little about how we spend most of our time, about eating and dressing and working and traveling. What the Bible does is to give us principles. And we apply the principles according to our understanding. So, except for the very clear doctrinal principles of scripture, let us be more understanding and accepting. The Bible says, 
do not use your freedom or your maturity to cause someone else to stumble. And those of you who do not believe there is that freedom, do not condemn others. Verse 10 says, So why do you condemn another believer? Why do you look down on another believer? Sure, we have different administrations. Sure, we have different interpretations. And even in your life as you grow in God, you will find that what you were fine with at some time in the past will not be what you are fine with now or sometime in the future. You will also find that there are some things that you had an issue with, that as you grow, you no longer have the issue. Because as we come to understand God more, as we come to understand the scriptures more, then our approach will change. But let us remember this. God is God of everyone. Cultures, personalities, temperaments, are different. But God is not limited to the box that you've created. So that scripture says, to you who believe it is a sin, it is a sin. Do not flaunt your freedom and cause others to stumble. And do not put your restrictions on others. What the scripture is silent on, you be silent too. And let us live together in unity. Because there is more that bind us together than that should separate us. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more... Join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.